In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen, how to integrate a webcam or document camera into your lesson, and how to share your recording with students. The recording tool we're going to use is Screencastify. We'll start by clicking Add to Chrome. We'll click Add to Chrome again. We'll click Add Extension, which we can now see here. We'll go ahead and click the icon so we can set up our account and begin recording. Before we click Sign In, make sure this button right here is toggled so that any of your recordings automatically save to Google Drive. Once you've done that, we'll click Sign In with Google. We'll click Sign In with Google again. We'll select our school account. We'll check these recording features. You can disable them later if you don't want them to be in your recording. And then we'll click Next. We'll click Allow. And now our Screencastify account has been successfully set up. Now that our Screencastify account is set up, we don't have to return to Screencastify.com every time we want to record our screen. Instead, we'll click the Screencastify icon anytime we want to record. Now let's say you want to record a slide for your students. You would just go to the slide and then click on the Screencastify icon. Notice that it limits you in the free version to five minutes per video. This means if you wanted to record a 30 minute lesson, you would have to make and share six different videos. So if you want to avoid the headache of having to string together a bunch of five minute videos, We'll go to screencastify.com, click pricing, and if we click here, we see that we can get unlimited recording for $29 per year. For this tutorial, however, we'll stick with a free version. So let's say you have your material together and you're ready to record your lesson. You'll click the Screencastify icon. And indicate whether you want to record your browser, your desktop, or just your webcam. Let's say you're a math teacher and you just want to explain a concept through a document camera. You would click Webcam Only, select your camera, and then once you've selected it, you would click Record. What if you want to show your face during the recording? We'll go back to Browser tab and click Embed Webcam and then you would select your webcam here. If we leave this selected, the recording will include you in it, so if you don't want that, make sure to leave this unselected. We'll go ahead and click record. It'll do a three second countdown, and now your screen is recording. If we look here, we can see a toolbar which offers us some helpful tools. If we hover over the cursor, we can focus the student's attention to the mouse. We can hide the cursor when it's not being moved. Or we can highlight clicks if we're wanting to draw their attention to different places we're clicking on the screen. Next, the pen tool will allow you to make annotations. And the eraser will allow you to erase those. You can also click the webcam icon to turn on your webcam. Hello. We'll click it again to turn it off. From there, you simply present your material, much as you would in class, say what you need to say, and then once you are through, you'll click the Screencastify extension icon, and then click Stop. You're now ready to share your video. You can share it as a link, or directly to Google Classroom, YouTube, embed it on your teacher website, send it in Gmail, or send a QR code. And there you have it. You now know how to record your screen, how to integrate a webcam or document camera, and how to share your recording with students.